want to be remembered in my field, the electrical field. I also desired to teach. It was my desire to teach the craft, pass it on to the family. I wasn't a big shot, but I was kind of like a medium shot. And once you're retired, you find out you're no shot at all. Probably spent maybe a week of thinking about all the things that I had thought about prior to retiring, what, what I would do. So I cut back from a full-time job to three days a week. Did that for a couple of years and then finally retired. I kind of eat, trickled into retirement. I didn't sort of just boof. And all the guys my age, both contractors and NASA, retired. The amount of identity, personal identity that uh, I had wrapped up in being an engineer in the NASA space program that put men on the moon and built a space shuttle and a space station. All three of the things which I had something to do with. And now, one of the things I do now is I teach bridge uh, at the YMCA in the active older adults program. Retiring, it does, doesn't end there. I mean, <laughs> It's, it's like uh, going into a different level, a different area, different uh, different goals um, to meet, different uh, expectations. Life has to be that way because if we don't see it that way, we just, I mean, uh, what's out there? Nothing. One way of reinventing myself was to seek all the opportunities that were, uh, that were offered to me. What I'm doing now, it's, uh, uh, teaching the little ones the um, objectives of Head Start, uh, following uh, different uh, rules and regulations that uh, help them uh, be better citizens and be better prepared for kindergarten. I decided that I needed to be more active than I was. Actually, what I ended up doing was uh, getting involved in some events. The first one I started was the uh, uh, MS-150. Then I started doing some triathlons, shorter distances, and then I've gotten into a few longer ones. And I've done a couple of half uh, marathons, which I'm, I don't consider myself a very good runner, but I do it, I finish, I don't hurt myself. <laughs> well, I was in California when I moved back. I got a buddy of mine, a close friend, used to be neighbors. So when I got back, he said, yeah, Pick said, we, we go over the center here. Come on in, we and join us. I said, yeah, well, that would be good recreation. They go places, they have different things to do. So I said, good. So I start going there every day. Yeah, every day. In fact, we go in and a shot on the tent. Uh, yeah, go and enjoy life as well, like, you know, well as you can. You know, my experiences are so funny as a child because I was always inventing and doing things. So I would like, I would love to write that and put it into a children's book. I taught bridge because I like bridge. But I also noticed that what happened was we formed a little community there of all the people in the same boat. It turned out to be something very useful and I appreciate it. The funny thing is, and I'm 78 now, and at that age when I enter these things, they have winners in age categories. Well, I can nearly always win my age category. There aren't enough women that want to do this at my age. So, it, it, but it's been fun. It's been fun. You, you can retire, but don't retire in mine. Stay active, whatever that you can, stay active. You just live one day at a time and enjoy it uh, fully. Fall in love if you can, and I'm trying to, I'm looking. <laughs> I think if you're blessed with good health and can do things, you take advantage of it. Getting uh, anxious and uh, all um, bent out of shape about getting old is silly because there's nothing you're going to do about it. You're going to get old, so don't worry about it. 
Yeah, go and enjoy life as well as you can.